Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about making an update for the Particle JS video that I made a few years ago. It's no longer in date, so in today's video we're going to be learning how to make this simple particle effect in React.js. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we need to create a new React app. So I'm going to call it npx create react app and we'll just call it particle js just for simplicity sake um, this is going to be a basic javascript react app it's not going to be using typescript however the link to the documentation on how to use it with typescript is in the description down below all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cd into that project and then we're going to install our dependencies that we need so i'm going to do npm install and we're going to be installing at ts particles slash react and at ts particles slash slim. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is since I've cd'd into the project, I'm going to open up my source folder and go into my app.js. What we'll do is we are going to leave this import as is for now, but let's go ahead and get rid of this content right in here. And then we're going to import a few different things. So firstly, let's go ahead and create a use state to see whether or not we've initialized the particle JS or not. So let's do const init and then set init and then set that to be use state, set that to false. There you go. And then what we'll do is, well, we also need to import use state. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So we'll do import react, and then we'll do use effect, use memo, and use state from react. And then we will also import a few different things, which is going to be particles, the init particle engine from particles react and then load slim from particles slash slim. Alrighty, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a use effect. This use effect is gonna initialize the particles engine, which is gonna be async object, sorry, async function that is gonna be calling load slim and then pass it the parameter of engine. And then once that's done, we're gonna set the initialization to be true so we can check whether or not we've loaded the actual part. Alrighty, so the next thing is we are gonna be developing the options that we want for our particle JS the uh, the styling that we would like for it as well as we're going to create a simple function that's going to basically determine whether or not the particles are loaded so it's going to be a simple console log that's just going to tell us whether or not it's loaded or not and within the actual options we're going to be using the use memo um the use memo hook that react has we're going to give it a background color of this it's going to be the exact same background color as i have in my previous tutorial um however this all this code will be available as a paste bin or a GitHub repo in the description down below, so you can go and copy that if you'd like. Next thing, we're going to set our FPS limit to be 60. You can change this to whatever you like. Um, after that, we have our on hover. All this is going to do is have that little uh, circular, circular uh, push away animation that we had in the beginning. Uh, we have our modes, uh, and then we have the particles, the type of code that we would like, any sort of link information, and then we have the move. The number however i'm going to change this value from 500 down to 200 because my computer is not able to handle it it's just too many particles um, opacity animation the type of particles you would like and the size and detect right now to be true all right so the next thing is we need to simply just print and display our particles with our options that we would like so firstly we have created our init use state right here that checks whether or not the particles are initialized or not through the engine so we're going to check if it's true or false and if it's true we're going to just display particles give it the id that we would like give it the options that we would have and as well as determining whether or not it's oops determining whether or not it's loaded or not simple as that now if we go ahead and start our app at npm start we will now see that we have our particles loaded it's still a little bit laggy i would probably bring it down to maybe a hundred however there you go that's how you use the up-to-date ts particle plugin uh, ts particle npm package within react if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace